everybody! I've had quite a few questions from friends recently about piercings and advice on piercings. I've had quite a few friends who wanted to get ear piercings and people always seem to come to me because I have quite a few ear piercings and I find these videos really interesting and also really helpful and so I was thinking I would give you some of my experiences and my advice and hopefully it will help some of you. I only have ear piercings but I thought I would just tell you the story of all of them and like healing periods and stories around them and how to look after them, things like that. So I will just get started straight away. First I have my first earlobe piercings done. I had these first done when I was 13 and one of them got really badly infected and I had to take it out and have it re-pierced when I was 14. So I have a little scar right next to the one on this ear and it's got like a little lump in it. I don't really know what went wrong. I had them done at a jeweler's shop and it was done with a gun and I've had all of my earlobe piercings done with a gun and it, I've not had really had problems since but because it was my first piercing didn't really know what I was doing and they didn't recommend cleaning it or touching it or anything and they said you can change it after six weeks so I changed it after six weeks and it just started bleeding and after that it got infected and I don't really know what happened with it. I had it re-pierced and I had it done in a beauty salon and that was all fine, I didn't have any problems with that but I left that one for about eight to ten weeks before I tried changing it when I was sure it was totally healed. My body heals really slowly for some reason. For some people, particularly if you have sensitive skin, I find that the healing period is a lot longer than they say. They say six weeks for earlobes and then 10 to 12 weeks for cartilage and tragus and mine have all taken at the longer end if not longer than that. So I feel like that's an average and if you have sensitive skin I wouldn't try taking it out before then. You have to be sure that it's going to heal. But they've now both completely healed and I can leave them out for ages. But I do have sensitive skin and I'd only wear silver and gold in these unless it's just for like an evening where I can wear something that's not silver or gold. I had my second earlobe piercings done when I was 16 and I had them done at Claire's with the gun again. I had no problems with these, these healed in eight weeks and they are completely fine now. Again I only wear like small earrings in them and I only wear silver or gold and I can leave them out for like a week or so and there's no problem. I've never had to re-pierce the backs of any of my ear piercings once they've healed even if I've left them out for like a week. I would say people often say don't get your ears pierced at Claire's and I know a few people who've had bad experiences with them but actually I know a lot a lot of people who haven't had problems at all with them and I didn't have an issue with the ones I had done at Claire's so because I had the experience of my first ones going quite badly and I knew what I was doing at that point where I was looking after them and putting aftercare stuff on I felt like it wasn't too bad. My third earlobe piercings I had done again at Claire's but at a different Claire's store when I was 19 in my first year at university. These Again, I had no problem with and they healed within like six weeks. All of my earlobe piercings I haven't really had issues with other than the major issue I had with the very first one. Um, and I think that's just because I was a bit excited to take them out and didn't really know what I was doing. So honestly, take really good care of them and if they give you aftercare stuff, I would recommend actually not using that and using salt water solution, just mixing like a teaspoon of salt with boiling water letting it cool a bit and then just using not like cotton wool balls or anything because they can come apart and you can get fibres stuck in them but just using like the gauze that you can buy from pharmacies and just cleaning them with that but don't twist them or anything just make sure you get all the like gunk out and if you have butterfly backs on them what I did was I pulled them apart slightly with pliers at the start so they were a bit looser and I could get it out and just clean it up and then I tighten them up again at the back so that I could get all the gunk off to start with because obviously when you first have them pierced it goes through your ear and you end up with some stuff at the back sometimes so it's good to get that cleaned up because obviously it's not great to have icky stuff around it. Um, other than the one that I had to have re-pierced which was kind of on scar tissue that one probably hurt like a two or a three but the rest of them were like a one. It doesn't hurt when it actually goes through. It kind of just feels like there is a biro that someone's kind of pushed against your ear and then it's just kind of like pressure it doesn't hurt at all and your ears get really hot and tingly afterwards I don't know I've heard a lot of people have problems with the backs and like their ear kind of like heals around them so you've got to keep an eye on that but I haven't had any of those problems with any of mine I had butterfly backs for all of them except when I had this one redone I had safety backs on them which are like the little dome ones I don't have one anymore so I can't show you but 
they're like a little dome and I really don't like those because I feel like they collect stuff. So if you have the option, get butterfly backs. My cartilage I had done when I was 18, so before I had my third earlobe piercings. I have one cartilage piercing up here. I had it done in a tattoo parlour and I had it done with a needle. I would really recommend if you get cartilage, tragus, any piercings that aren't on your earlobes but are on your ears, I would recommend definitely getting them done with a needle because the gun can cause your cartilage to shatter. I know loads of people have had it done with a gun and I don't know anyone who's had a problem but I wouldn't take the risk and also everyone I know who's had it done with a gun has had problems with it healing whereas I had no problems whatsoever it healed really nicely when I first had it done it bled a lot so I had a lot of dried blood around it for a while and it did bleed consistently for like a day on and off but it never like wept gunk or anything it just bled for a couple of days on and off and they said that was normal and I did feel like it was a little bit weird and they gave me cleaning solution for that one but I really really didn't like it so I was using salt water solution for that one. For me that one took about three months to heal which sounds like a long time but again I have sensitive skin and it takes me a long time to heal. Also I know friends who've had like problems with keloids which are like lumps on the front or the back. I had a bar for this one with the little ball on the front that screws on and off and I had an extra long one so that you could account for the swelling which I think is a really good idea. The place that I had my cartilage done first put in an extra long one and then after three weeks you can go back and they will change it to a shorter one for you. I chose to stick with the longer one because it wasn't bothering me at all but some people I know once they come to sleeping on it it's too long for you to actually sleep on but for me this wasn't a problem so just think about what you want. I know people who've had hoops and they've said that they've healed really well as well. I personally have had all mine done with studs because I get my hair caught in hoops and everything and I have quite long hair and so it does often get stuck around my cartilage piercing so you have to be really careful of those and if you do have problems with having your hair in it all the time especially when you're sleeping I would recommend just putting like micropore tape or a plaster or something over it while you sleep so that it doesn't get hair stuck in it because obviously like having hair on it can cause bacteria to get in that you don't want. The most recent one I've had done, I had done last December. It is now healed. It took about five, six months though, so it's, it hasn't been healed for very long. And that's my tragus piercing. I could sleep on it after about two weeks and the same with my cartilage piercing. I could sleep on them really really quickly, it may not have even been two weeks, it may have been more like a week and that wasn't a problem. Again I have a bar for this one and I really like having a bar although it's awkward for headphones because obviously your tragus is this one in here so it's just inside so obviously when you put headphones in, there's a bar in the way and when you first have your ears pierced, that's quite painful. So if you have over ear headphones, I would recommend using those for a couple of weeks rather than headphones. Or if you do have the headphones with the little detachable, like changeable sized earbuds, I'd recommend actually just taking that off entirely and using it like that because I find that I can't fit the earbuds in anymore. But if you have slightly bigger ears, because I have very tiny ears, I'm already on the smallest ones. If you're on like the medium one, just change down a size for that ear. Again, I had this one done with a needle. The place that I had this one done was amazing. They were so nice and so calming and lovely because they don't really like needles. The tragus piercing was probably like a five or a six out of 10 on the pain scale. At the time, it was quite long and slow so that hurt quite a lot at the time and it felt like forever because they kind of like it's two layers of cartilage so they punch it through and then they they have to punch it through the back layer and then you get a little like tube put in it while they put the earring in and then obviously they take that out so that take that whole process takes quite a long time and being that i'd already had my cartilage done I was prepared for that but just be aware that if you have it done with a needle they will have to obviously put the needle through and then put the earring in and when they first tighten the ball on that can be quite painful but once they'd stopped fiddling around with it and it was all done it was kind of warm for about an hour. It didn't burn, my ear just felt really hot for about an hour and I couldn't sleep on it for a few days comfortably and sometimes when I was sleeping on it for like up to two weeks it would like catch and that would hurt. You've got to be really really careful not to get shampoo and conditioner in it because that really hurts and also makeup is a big problem because obviously like if you put any sort of face powders on you tend to brush that way and then you get 
them in your ears. I always put my hand here, so while I was using my brush, it would all go on my hand and not into my ear. The cartilage piercing probably hurt about four or five. It was less painful than the tragus piercing, and it didn't hurt for as long afterwards, and I could sleep on it faster, but it did hurt at the time. At the time, it was the most painful piercing that I'd had, but I would say that the tragus is more painful. I would recommend leaving earlobe piercings for like two months at least before you think about changing them and I know it's really exciting particularly when you get your first ones because you want to go out and buy all the earrings and change them all and everything but I would really recommend to avoid having problems knowing that they're healed before you change them and for cartilage and tragus piercings I would recommend waiting at least three months before you even think about it. Like I said, I've left this one in now for about six months and I still haven't changed it. When I first change mine, what I do is I get TCP antiseptic and I get a shot glass and I put half of the TCP antiseptic liquid and half boiling water and just drop in the earring that I'm gonna change it to. And then I have a piece of like kitchen towel or something laid out, something that's not gonna kind of disintegrate into little fluffy bits, so not like toilet roll or cotton buds or anything. It's so either gauze or kitchen roll and I just dry it off and put antiseptic cream on it and then put the earring through because the antiseptic cream makes it much much easier to get through your ear and also the first time you change a new piercing if it's earlobe piercings is not so much of a problem because you're kind of like if you've had first you're used to where that is but for cartilage and tragus you're not really used to the angles of them like my cartilage one is wonky so it took me a long time to get used to it so I would recommend putting all of the antiseptic stuff on because it just makes it so much easier to get in the first time and then just wipe it up with the gauze or the kitchen towel or whatever you're using just so that there's no excess there because it does look a bit weird when you have white cream on your ear. I have no plan plans to get any tattoos at all, but I do have plans to get more piercings. Personally, I'm not going to be getting any facial piercings, probably ever. The only one that I would consider getting is like a nose stud here, but I don't really know that that's my kind of thing and I don't know that it would suit me. So I really love ear piercings and I will probably be sticking to those. I want to get some scaffolding done on this side, which if you don't know is a bar that goes through your ear here. So you have two piercings on the outer edge of your ear and then you have a bar going through it. And I also want to get just in here where you've kind of got the ridge that goes through and you've got a, like a flap that goes over it, if that makes sense. I want to get piercing two piercings either side of that ridge on this bit just above my tragus, if that makes sense. And I'd quite like to get a fourth lobe piercing on one side, but I have very tiny ears and my earlobes are attached. So I don't know if I have space for that. And I'm also considering and getting my belly button pierced but I'm really not sure for the moment and I don't have plans to get any done in the next month or two but maybe in a few months when I've decided which one I want done first because obviously my my tragus I haven't even changed yet I'm not even entirely sure if it's healed I'm pretty sure it's healed but obviously you can never quite be sure until you actually change it so I don't really have any plans to get any done anytime soon until I've gotten used to changing that one a bit more and then I will be getting one on this ear anyway most likely or my belly button done. So I hope you found that useful guys and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any more questions write it in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me and also follow me on social media all the links are down below and I will see you again soon. Bye!